If you're a developer building IoT solutions and looking for a way to create digital twins, we have something for you. Ines Galifi from the Azure Digital Twins is here on the IoT show to tell you why you should care about Azure Digital Twins, which is now available for production. Hi everyone, you're watching the Internet of Things show. I'm Olivier, your host, and today I'm joined by Ines Galifi. Uh, and we'll tell you all about the Azure Digital Twins availability and why as a developer you should care. Ines, thanks for joining us today. How are you? No problem, pretty good. How are you, Olivier? I'm great. So uh, Ines, where are you calling from? Yeah, I'm calling from uh, you know my home office here and then Redmond in Washington. Uh, okay. Yeah, working remote. Yeah, I like I like to ask this question so people actually get an idea, you know, where people are at. Uh, that's always funny. Um, and uh, yeah, your home office, like your background, simple, straightforward. Yeah, it's, it's actually a guest guest bedroom that is now converted into uh, into my office. Yeah, so it's been uh, interesting. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. So, Ines, for those who don't know you, uh, our audience might not, uh, but they will get to know you today. So, what are you doing at Microsoft? What is your role? Yeah, I'm the program manager and the product lead for uh, Azure Digital Twins. Uh, I've been in IoT for uh, close to two years and uh, yeah, been working on Azure Digital Twins for close to a year now. Great, uh, so you have great news for our developers today. What is that news? Yeah, the great news is uh, Azure Digital Twins is ready for prime time. Uh, we have uh, now the service as a general uh, availability. That means the developers can now not only you know work on the pilots and proof of concepts that they've been doing with the preview, but actually go do full customer deployments and, and take it take it to production. So ready, ready for prime time. I like the way you ready picked that in. Time, yep. <laughs> yeah. And for those who didn't get a chance to play around with uh, Azure Digital Twins, we'll see a little demo of what it is. But before we jump into the demo, can you tell us a bit about you know what kind of use cases, what kind of scenarios does Azure Digital Twins address? The term Digital Twins has been used and reused. We've explained that. Uh, it's kind of a hype these days. People are talking about it. Uh, but I think concretely for our developers out there, what are the kind of solutions that they can build? using our services? Yeah, um, no, that's a great question, Olivier. So we've seen uh, an interesting shift, actually. We've had developers build a lot of great IoT solutions and really trying to capture insights about the device itself and, and big, uh, build great business apps around that. What we're seeing more now from, from customers and developers building these solutions is, is they want more. They want business apps that not only give them insights about the device, but the device in context of the full environment that it's in, that includes the there's people and places and things and, and, and processes and other systems and all these things kind of work together to give even kind of, you know better insights beyond just the information from, from the device. Um, so the use cases have ranged uh, from, uh, we've had people build digital twins solutions of, of spaces and facilities, uh, like a smart building, right? You can picture building business apps that capture efficiencies and understand where people are and if there's you know crowd crowd flow. Uh, we've had customers build digital twins of, of products, right? Like manufactured goods. They just want to capture insights about what's happening with a specific product. Um, and then we've also had customers build digital twins for processes. So you'll see, for example, in retail supply chain, I mean, very timely right now, it's really important to understand all the aspects and how everything is going from a supply chain perspective and digital twins, uh, being able to bring those, those physical aspects to life into their business apps and monitor and track, uh, has added a lot of, a lot of great value for developers. Yeah. I think I like it. So um, I know digital twins, you know, as a concept is something that, as I was mentioning, has been discussed. And I just described the type, kind of scenarios we're using it. Um, building an, a service within Azure to help developers build these digital twins, put together the data from these devices, the spaces, the, the people. Uh, well, that's something that developers could have done themselves, right? They can today, you know, get some a bunch of services and storage and analytics on top of that and so on. What is the main value you would see? You would say Azure Digital Twins as a service brings to developers, the one building these end-to-end -end solutions. 
Yeah. Uh, so what we've seen, like you said, developers have been building these solutions for quite some time, but there's a lot of complexities they've had to kind of take on themselves. There is um, one modeling this, these entire environments gets gets a bit complicated and complex because you're modeling not only the devices, but the places and the relationships. Um, and also bringing these uh, digital twins to life in a, in a scalable and secure manner. So we've had a lot of customers spend time developing, you know, that that knowledge graph that they have to stand up to make all these uh, physical things come to life uh, in a live environment. And, and that's also doing that at the right scale with the right fundamentals, uh, with all the right security features. You know, takes quite a bit of time as well. And we've all also right. oh, go ahead, Olivier. No, no, no go ahead. Good, like go on. Oh, yeah, no, and we've also seen customers, uh, you know, spend a lot of time integrating all the right pieces and all the right services into mm -hmm. that knowledge graph to make everything work holistically. So really, Digital Twins is, you know, taking all of these building blocks and making them ready to use and really tailor fit, right? Tailor fit for building mm -hmm. Digital Twins and tailor fit for IoT so that whether you want to use, you know, IoT Hub or you want a model, uh, we have the Digital Twins definition language. That's, that's kind of the mm -hmm. open modeling and you can use that and start from there. We have the whole Digital Twins consortium where uh, a lot of uh, our partners are seeding the ecosystem with models that are already pre-made, pre-made ontologies that you can start with to you know go faster. Uh, and really, it, it accelerates the, the development time. You know, you have you spend less time on gluing all these core pieces together and more time on on layering the, the you know the developers' value add. We've had developers who really focus on the 3D and 4D visualization aspect of their business app. And now they can spend all their energy there and leverage all these building blocks that help them build these digital twin solutions a lot faster and at the right production scale uh, as their customer needs increase. Yeah. Nice. Nice. That's, that's perfect. Uh, actually, uh, I don't have anything to add to that. I think it's brilliant. Uh, let's actually look at some of the demos you brought that will, uh, will put some more, uh, you know, um, vision uh, through that. Yeah, so one of the demos that um, we, you know we stitched together and that we will make available as a sample as well mm -hmm. is a, a really common scenario. We talked earlier about the retail and supply chain, so we wanted to give a quick peek into how uh, a business app uh, for for supply chain and retail. What would that look like? So as you see here, we have our uh, you know friendly branded Contoso. Uh, application that's really representing a, a, a whole supply chain. It's uh, it's represented different different factories um, that customers may have, uh, you know, across you know distributed everywhere. And what you can do, and all these things were represented as uh, modeled with digital twins and brought to life with with digital twins. Uh, and you can inspect, for example, here uh, we can really look at a particular shipment. So here's a, a twin representing a shipment. And, and what's great here is uh, you can see here we have ETA information about is that shipment running late or not. You also have sensor information. Um, there's obviously some sensors tracking the temperature and vibration. And you can see that Digital Twins helped here bring together not just IoT data from IoT Hub, but also data from a CRM system. And the great thing is with the, the, G the general available service, we have APIs that let you feed not just IoT Hub data, which is super mm -hmm. critical, but also data from other systems that you know developers may have that are really valuable to bring into that you know shared knowledge graph. Nice. Is it fair to say that then the developer has to focus on you know the scenario that he's building on top? I think you mentioned that already, but in that in that use case in that scenario here, the developer didn't have to write the code. It was about let me bring the data from that CRM, let me bring the data from IoT Hub devices, and let's actually write code that will put them together. Digital Twins as a service does that for you. And it ends up being a matter of using the APIs of Digital Twins to uh, configure these inputs, I would say, or sources of data, and then uh, using queries to actually implement analytics and extract some of the data, right? To visualize something like you just showed on that map. Uh, it's just a matter of like sending the right queries to Digital Twins to get the set of data that then you display using Azure Maps or other uh, tools there, right? Exactly. And, and the great thing is with the digital twins, the API surface and programming language is, is really, I mean, it's simplified, right? It's very tailor fit to the, the concepts that you're coding against in your business app. So exactly as you described here, you'll be querying for show me all the, you know, the shipments that are behind in the last, you know, 20 days. And that's a real, it's, you know, more natural way to program and develop than it would be to deal with individual device telemetry data and raw data as well. So we've, 
that's also a big plus for developers that it really it up levels the, the concepts and make yeah. things a lot simpler. Yeah. Yeah, brilliant. I love it. Uh, I, th I saw you had a second tab there. So there's another thing you want to show us, right? I do, yeah. Well, I'll show you one one more thing in the demo. Um, there's also integration points. So in the, in the supply chain scenario, you could picture that you'd have to track, you know, different notifications. So we do have integration points, for example, with, uh, you know, Logic Apps, and they have great connector to Teams. And a lot of these um, integration experiences are really easy to incorporate into um, into Azure Digital Twins as well. Uh, and I'll show you one more integration point that's also very interesting. Uh, and you can see here, there will be an alert and it say, hey, California, you know, there's an order that's uh, not tracking well. And you can really drill in to that specific order all the way down to the, the factory view. And this is where okay. we talk about, you know, layering uh, your domain expertise. Mm -hmm. So here is where you would put your, uh, you know, your, your visualizations. We have developers who have, uh, uh, really specific, you know, business domain needs for how they need to visualize things based on different domains, 3D, 4D, and Digital Twins really makes it easy for you to layer that, you know, on top of uh, on top of the platform and the APIs to really focus on what you described, the uh, this is the simpler concepts and the querying and things that really help you feed the interesting data. Yeah, I and love that. Oh, yeah. And you describe actually putting together, we're seeing these like, uh, you know, end-to-end -end solutions. We're seeing more and more um, operators and engineers having to interact with different backgrounds. And here it seems we're, we're giving them, uh, you know, a, a single pane of glass that is basically their interface to all that data and the analytics that they can implement on that data uh, and, and makes, makes it way simpler for the collaboration in between these engineers and these various types of operators of the solution. Exactly. Yeah. And we also have really, you know, seamless integration points. Um, we talked about the query APIs. That's obviously a, re a really uh, a critical API surface to bubble the live data about the business app. But um, you also, if you want to apply, you know, historian analytics, uh, we also have nice integration with time series insights, for example, where you can go drill in and actually look at like, wow, for that particular machine, let me look at all the different, you know, its history and look at the humidity and see where patterns went, you know, went out of date. Um, so again, the, the integration with some of the key Azure services like time series insights and the fact that we make that really simple uh, is also a big value add and helps developers, like you said, actually spend their time on the AI or some of the differentiation or their business apps visualizations uh, instead of kind of the glue of, of modeling and building a graph and doing that at scale. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and, and then, um, because we're talking to developers, I mean, like you're seeing here the final result of what they could do, right, with mm -hmm. the service itself. Um, this tooling that comes with that as well, right? When you're building a digital twins, you need as a developer, uh, you need to actually have a set of tools that allow you to to create that, test it, uh, you know, and and so on. So we also have a bunch of tools there, right? Absolutely. Yeah, we have tools. Uh, obviously, the modeling is is the big first step, and we have tools that not only help you build those models and validate them and parse them and make sure that they're you know they're correct and they'll work with the service we also have the azure digital twins explorer sample that again we've made open source uh that you can take and you can augment and you know you, you're seeing here um the the models uh, and the graph that we're feeding that that business app that sample supply chain demo and if you look deeply uh you can see all the models everything that we've modeled so you can see here mm -hmm. that there's their belt model. You can drill into the, the you know, DTDL, the Digital Twins definition language for it. Um, the tool, as you're developing, you want to understand as your graph comes to life, you want to visualize it as well. It's been a really helpful tool for developers to understand as they uh, pull together the, you know, JSON-LD for their models, how are the relationships looking? Are they missing things? So this tool really, it's a great development tool. It helps you understand if your model is coming to life as you've envisioned it. And yeah. it also, also lets you do, uh, you know, different queries. Like you said, querying is a big part of the Digital mm -hmm. Twins experience. And it lets you query for, um, you know, different items and try some of our uh, expressions to make sure that you're, you know, you're building the right things to power your business up as well. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. So simplifying life for developers, both in terms of, uh, you know, rapidly creating the solutions, but also interacting with the Digital Twins. Uh, so developers like to know who else is using uh, a service, right? That's something that builds trust in when you see others actually actively engaged and, and working. So I guess with partners uh, and, and customers who are already using Azure Digital Twins, can you give us some examples there? 
Yeah, it, it's been really great to see the diversity of use cases, uh, to your point. And we have uh, uh, two partners and customers that I'll highlight. Uh, one is, uh, so Doosan uh, is working with a, a partner called Bentley Systems. And really their use case is, is very critical. It's it's digital twins of, of wind farms, for example. So operators can monitor you know, equipment performance, predict energy. Uh, and things like that remotely because these wind farms are you know all over the place and and for them it was interesting they leverage obviously they modeled uh, you know the wind turbines and they also brought together um, historical you know data IoT data weather data and operational data from their systems all into the one you know digital twins knowledge graph using those those ingress APIs that we talked about and they combine that with what Bentley really does really well which is all things you know physics. Uh, physics-based simulation and putting mm -hmm. those two things together uh, really provided Doosan with a really great, um, you know, business app, and it helped Bentley do that faster. And, and again, really focus on what on what they're good at. And well, we have a customer story that is published, and and you can go, um, you know, read through it and and be inspired and and see what types of use cases digital twins can um, can empower. Like that. Yeah. Like that. Uh, like you mentioned uh, the, the notion of uh, simulating, you know, uh, systems uh, thanks to digital twins. So that's yeah. definitely one of the big areas. Like the the name digital digital in digital twins, uh, which allows you to digitalize uh, real spaces and, and things uh, and and apply these simulations uh, algorithms and tools on it. Um, yeah. Smart buildings is also an area we have um, we have customers, right? Yeah, smart buildings continues to be a you know a key area for Azure Digital Twins. And here, yeah, we're uh, excited to continue the a great partnership we've had with Willow for for quite some time. And uh, Willow uh, is partnering with uh, the customer is Brookfield Properties, and uh, they they have one of the largest uh, commercial offices uh, in in uh, New York in One Manhattan West. That's that's the name of the property. And uh, yeah, Willow really helped. They use digital twins. They've modeled, you know, all the buildings. Uh, they use the query capabilities, and they build their own kind of, you know, business application on it for Brookfield. And, and really, they're delivering on the whole vision of, you know, live, work, play ecosystem for uh, all things, you know, saving money, optimizing for energy, all things around building management that are continued to be. You know, even more critical now that we're, uh, you know, in the in the COVID times. So it's been great to see Willow. Um, you know, do so much on the digital twins definition language front as well. They've made some mm -hmm. really great models for for all things smart buildings, and and seeing them deploy to uh, properties like Brookfield using digital twins and going to that scale uh, has been a really great showcase. Yeah. Yeah, and and we'll discuss uh, on the IT show as well um, these uh, smart buildings ontologies, uh, the fact that we're working on open source ontologies with all these partners, uh, the work we're doing around DTDL uh, when it comes to to developing it as a community as an ecosystem, um, and uh, we actually have I think a deep dive that will come soon with Pamela with Willis to actually look under the hoods uh, at the tools at the actual solutions and how to leverage uh, Azure Digital Twins. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to add some links in the description down there. If there's one link I'd like to invite people to go, it's going to be our docs, right, for the Azure Digital Twins. Um, so if you're a developer, you want to get started or you want to accelerate your adoption of Azure Digital Twins, uh, which is now generally available for you to go to production, aka.ms slash IoT show slash Azure Digital Twins docs. That's going to be your one link. Ines, Thanks a lot for joining us today. Um, great job to the team. I think you guys really knocked it out of the park. Um, Digital Twins finally comes to life uh, and, and is ready for production. Um, anything you want to say to our developers? Yeah, no. Well, one, thank you to all the developers. Uh, yes, do visit the, the docs page. It has samples. Um, it has great uh, tutorials and also has, like uh, Olivia, like you mentioned, a lot of uh, pre-made um, ontologies and, and models that you can really quickly get started on. And really excited to see what developers do with the product. We're, we're amazed to learn about new use cases every day. And please keep the feedback coming. We want to hear what you're doing and we want to help you go to production uh, you know, faster. Yeah, and the story is not over. This is an Azure service. It's going to evolve. It's going to get richer and richer tooling as well. So you'll be back, I'm sure. Oh, yes. Yeah, looking forward to it, Olivier. Okay, awesome. Thanks, everyone, for watching the IoT Show today. Uh, go build your digital twins with Azure Digital Twins, and uh, see you soon on the IoT Show as well. See you guys. Bye.